I would suggest that you you spend as much time as you can talking with experienced missionaries, that you take some short-term trips, uh, several short-term trips, and really get your feet wet. I would really suggest that you read not only the stories of, uh, of great missionaries and, and their lives, but that you would also do some reading about the nature of mission. What is missions? How does it work? Uh, what, is the, uh, wh what is the biblical perspective of missions? What does cross-cultural ministry mean? It's very important to get some education in these uh, subjects before just launching out. We knew we had this, this longing, really, to serve uh, the church internationally. And it just grew in us to where uh, we just felt that uh, doing anything else would have been wrong. Um, I think if anything else will make you happy, you know you're not called to missions. But when you have this longing that, uh, that draws you, that's a, a powerful evidence. And then I think it's important to talk with your elder brothers and sisters and get their advice and the confirmation of the call that you feel that you have. Uh, prepare, prepare your heart. Remain flexible. Uh, God is going to take you through many new training areas of your life. Allow the Holy Spirit to form you, to forge you. Stay in the Word of God. Uh, I would recommend if you know, have an idea of what country you're going to, start learning the language right away. We went without knowing Spanish and it was very uh, difficult for us. For six months we, we struggled not knowing the language. So if you know, learn everything you can about the culture, learn as much of the language as you can, uh, and allow the Holy Spirit to continue shaping you. Uh, ask Him to give you a burden for the, pe the souls of the people where you're going to be ministering. The best advice that I can give to anyone preparing for any kind of ministry is just to do it. Uh, to just do what God calls you to do, uh, to find a, a good pastor, a good church, and to serve there in whatever ministries God gifts you to do, whatever anointing God gives you. Just to be a good Christian and a good minister in whatever field God uses you in, like teaching. Uh, years before I became a missionary, I, I was gifted in the area of teaching. and God gave me that anointing and helped me to develop it. I went to seminary. And, and so I just developed in whatever giftings God gave me until he called me. I guess not to impose your culture. Uh, that's, that's important not to talk about your education. Uh, no, don't try to impress the nationals in any way. Just work with them. Uh, try to get to know them, to work with them. Uh, and uh, just, just serve. Mm -hmm. you, you go there as a missionary to serve. It's a servant of God. Not, not to uh, tell the nationals what to do or how to do it uh, unless you know you're a teacher and then you could do that you could help the nationals you know to improve and to be more effective uh, in what they're doing for God but not otherwise yeah but if they're preparing to go I, I would think that they need to maybe go on a short term to get some hands-on experience or go alongside a missionary and see what to really see if that's what you really want to do and i think now you can get a, a plane ticket you know with time you can pay for it and uh, and go you know the the place that god puts on your heart but i think that you need to prepare yourself the more you prepare yourself the better but yet like he said don't go with you know this idea that you know more than they do you know because that, that won't go over it too well. Yeah, right. <laughs>